Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today, a pencil review of the Musgrave News 600 pencil. And I was actually surprised uh, that I would have sworn with all the pencil reviews I've done, particularly with Musgrave products, I haven't done one of the new 600. And it's a pencil I have used in other videos, uh, handwriting videos and things like that, but haven't really um, done a review. And uh, relatively recently, Musgrave has sort of upgraded their packaging of many of their products, including the news pencil and where before you would order a dozen and you would get them sort of in a sealed cellophane bag uh, now they are in this very handsome box uh, I got picked up this dozen uh, on a recent order and um, it is black with white printing on it uh, and so it sort of mirrors the color scheme of the pencil itself so you have the Musgrave M, Musgrave Pencil Company, 600 News, Made in USA, one dozen, classic round, extra soft core, untipped pencils. So it kind of tells it all right there. Uh, Musgrave Pencil Company on that side the Made in USA 600 Musgrave Pencil Company Ink News and then on the back um, the Musgrave Story uh, and so there it is and we open the box slides open to reveal um, and it's just so much black here it's hard to really let me they reveal the pencils um, and they are a round black pencil white imprint made in USA 600 Musgrave Pencil Company Incorporated news and that's all that's there um, they let's see Let's look at the cores. You can see clearly that these are larger than normal cores. Um, so you can expect a broader line from these pencils and you will get one. Um, the cores are, I would say for the most part, fairly well centered. There's a few that just from the naked eye appear to be off a little bit, but not a lot. Um, these are not cedar pencils, by the way, um, but uh, they are round and uh, comfortable to hold. I don't know if they are any larger in terms of the circumference of the wood case than um, another round pencil might be. I'm looking to see if I have one to compare it to at my fingertips. I do not, but um, anyways, there it is. So, uh, for those of you who are in the pencil world, uh, this is a pencil that uh, you are probably familiar with and I don't know that this review is going to reveal anything uh, new for the news but um, I did want to officially sort of put it down uh, as a pencil to be reviewed because it certainly is worthy of it um, and these pencils have a reputation for being very dark very soft very bold and they are all those things um, and for people who like that kind of pencil 
Um, this is one of the few options uh, available in the on the market. So um, let me sharpen one, and uh, we'll do some writing. Okay, I've got a I've got a Musgrave news here sharpened and ready to roll. Uh, I do use these pencils frequently. Sometimes um, I always have block erasers. Uh, these are the Pentel eraser caps, which I like. And sometimes many of my news pencils look like this. And I find that this is uh, sort of a twofold um, feature, putting one of these caps on here because one, it does prevent the pencil from rolling around um, since it is a round pencil. It will and it will and it does roll at least for me. I probably because many of the surfaces they're on aren't quite even and level. Uh, and then it also gives you a fairly decent attached <clears throat> eraser. Um, but you don't have to. That's just something I do. Uh, so, let's see here. Yes. You know from the first stroke that this is a soft and smooth and very dark pencil. Now I may have been doing it wrong all this time calling it a new 600 because I see that the 600 <clears throat> really does come first. And if anybody from Musgrave wants to correct me, perhaps it's the 600 news pencil rather than the new 600 pencil but this pencil is dark this pencil is soft this pencil is smooth this pencil is velvety it's all of those things um, and you can see where my point is already um, it is a pencil that if you use it a lot, <clears throat> doesn't last long because it does require frequent sharpening. Again, it's not a cedar wood pencil, um, but it does, the, the wood that they do use is, is nice and um, being a round pencil, it is comfortable to hold. Yep. When not fully sharpened, the line gets broader and broader as you can see here. Look how look how thick that line is. I call this sort of the the sharpie of pencils because of that um, and you can see the tip here not a surprise it's a smudger and it leaves a fairly dark um, drag so I'm going to just start with my uh, attached here that I have. And I'm curious to see, this is the Pentel tip. Now I'm going to try the P 
Pentel block and see if the results are any better or worse. <clears throat> I would say they are perhaps marginally better. This is uh, not a pencil that really erases well because of <clears throat> the amount of graphite in that core. It's a pink pearl. What else? Uh, and I think that's just an accepted fact about this pencil. Let's try an art gum. But that's not the reason you love this pencil if you love it. Uh, you, you don't care that it doesn't erase well. You care how it writes. So you can see a lot of shadowing. Um, there's just you, you're not gonna you're not gonna pull that off the paper unfortunately so erasability I mean you can erase it it doesn't do well um, it's really a C minus uh, I'm being probably even a little generous with that but um, To me, this is a fun pencil to write with. I have friends who <clears throat> have gotten this pencil to use because they, they sew, and this is a great pencil, again, uh, for it's a great marker for marking up things, so uh, to mark fabric. Uh, if you are a wood, I have friends who you have a wood shop, do a lot of woodworking, they love this pencil, leaves a thick, dark line for marking wood and things like that. So um, uh, practical uses for a pencil like this beyond um, the writing page. So, but you can see here um, from the amount that I have written so far, it's really taken it down to almost nothing. So it's time for a resharpen. But that is, uh, if you don't mind sharpening, and I, there's, there's folks who actually like sharpening the pencil. That's all part of the fun. So, um, I love this pencil. Um, if you love it, chime in and tell me why you love it. If you don't like it, share that. Um, I could see where this might not be a pencil for every use or every person. But um, I have always loved this pencil and I think that it is probably one of the Musgrave pencils that many people are familiar with. So. Thank you for uh, spending a few minutes with me as we sort of experience or re-experience the Musgrave 600 News Pencil. Please share, like, and subscribe if you're into what goes on around here. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon right here on Always Analog.